Uh, yeah, so talking with Brexton about it, just um, essentially it's hard to explain to a seven-year-old what really happened and what the severity of it could have been, although thankful that it wasn't more serious than what it was. Um, just, you know, to always be on your toes, I guess, but, you know, he's to the age right now where, you know, in those situations, <laughs> I don't even think Samantha would let him be on his own until he was 13, 14 years old anyway, you know, so he's always going to have a, a parent or a guardian or something around him for, for a long time. So uh, all of us have to be mindful in those situations as to what the best way to um, go through that is. And I don't know that we really had the perfect course of it, but, um, you know, we, we made it through with the best of our information at that point was. On Thursday, did you ever feel in danger? Did they? Did you hear what was going on, or were you just told to evacuate? No, there was definitely a sense of danger, um, a huge sense, because all you were told. Uh, so Samantha called me. We had no idea. Brexton and I were actually in line for a ride. We were the next to go on that ride, and she called me, and I answered, and we skipped right through going on the ride and went out straight back out the exit, and um, then we. We're just, we just stayed on the phone together because she told me, she goes, there's an active shooter. There are shots that have been fired in the mall. And at that point, active shooter or somebody shooting at another person, whatever, shots being fired, you don't know, right? So that's the scariest part is you have no idea what is happening. So I'm asking her, where are you? What store is it coming from? What level are you on? All those sorts of things to figure out, am I walking my way right into it or am I walking my way out of it? Um, and so there's chaos, there's people running this way, there's people running that way, and you're worried when there's people running at you, okay, are they running away from something? So am I going right into the line of fire? You just have no idea. So uh, your head's on a swivel, your eyes are wide open, and again, I was on the phone talking with Samantha and, and hearing where she and the baby were and how they were doing and getting out, and then she stayed on the phone with me to see you know, my path and trajectory to be able to get out and help me with uh, the information that she had and so I, I, again like I said you're just you're flying blind and uh, and you have no idea what the situation reality really is but um, it's scary for sure and there's many of other people that unfortunately um, you know go through that stuff uh, apparently on the daily <laughs> Samantha's gotten a ton of messages that oh this happened to so-and-so that I know at a grocery store this happened to so-and-so I know wherever this happened to me it, so it's it's just not fun